Look again at that dad. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every under and forager, every ging and bezend, every young gobble in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every deejer of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every zane and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a mode of dust suspended in a sunbeam. The earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors so that, in glory and triumph, they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dod. Think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this bigsel on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner, how frequent their misunderstandings, how eager they are to kill one another, how fervent their hatreds. Our bosturings, our imagined self importance the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe, are challenged by this bell, point of bell light, our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. Our obscurity and all this vastness, there is no end that help. <laughs> in our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no end that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. The earth is the only world known so far to harbor life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. Visit, yes. Zettle, not yet. Like it or not, for the moment, the earth is where we make our stand. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the volley of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the bale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. Also, can I have a cigarette?